Happy Friday. Um, I'm using a new microphone, so if you can hear me, please leave a note. Um, I'm so excited today. We are going to be talking about color coding, planner hacks, and work-life balance because it's on my mind today. <laughs> Hi, everyone. If you can hear me okay, please leave a note. Um, I have a new microphone, and I really hope that this new microphone is majorly impressing you right now. Um, it was pricey but I'm trying to help the echo situation that I always seem to have no matter what space I'm in. So welcome and thank you for joining. We're gonna be talking about color coding. We're gonna talk about some planner hacks and we're gonna talk about a little bit about work-life balance because I think they kind of all go hand in hand when we're color coding our planners and um, trying to use some sort of system to make life easier. We are trying to find some sort of balance. And I also know that like, that's why we use planners anyway, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <laughs> Jessa, thank you. Jessa says my sound is very impressive. Um, okay, well, we're just going to dive right in. So, as you know, launch day is next Wednesday, September 5th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I really want a t-shirt that says 10 a.m. Eastern Time on it, by the way. I'm in the central time zone now, but we kept it 10 a.m. Eastern Time because I feel like it's like every other sentence out of my mouth uh, during times like this. <laughs> So, um, as you know, next Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, we're launching our 2019 Simplified Planners. We have daily editions and weekly editions, and we're also launching Dapper Desk. So I'm just going to run through all the launch day stuff really fast for anyone who is joining us and they're brand new. Um, if you have questions, I hope that you will put them in the comments here. Um, Dusty on my team is gathering all the questions and she's gonna feed them to me um, at the end. And Dusty, you can text them to me because I have my phone right here. Um, so uh, we have two launches a year. We have a fall launch and we have a spring launch. In the fall, we're launching our calendar year planners. So those editions run January through December. So the editions we're launching on Wednesday begin on January 1st, 2019 and run all the way through December 31st, 2019. That includes daily, weekly, and Dapper Desk. This is the daily edition, comes in six cover options. This is the mint pineapple. And um, this is the, it has wire O binding. And then the weekly edition, I have all of my props back here. Weekly edition is this right here. And it has a book binding. You can see it has little page markers in it because I'm gonna actually show you some color coded pages today. So the book bound weekly um, is 12 months. It has weekly spreads, lays perfectly flat. And then we have Dapper Desk. Dapper Desk was originally created as a men's line until we realized everyone loved it. Um, it is actually um, a more neutral planner. It has a leatherette cover. We've dropped the price from $75 to $60 on these because we're now using uh, vegan leather. Inside it has daily pages and every single day gets its own page in this one. So even Saturday and Sunday gets its own page and you can kind of see what it looks like. So you have your schedule, to-do list, and notes. This is almost identical to the Simplified Planner pages um, in the daily editions. This one just does not have color on the page like the Simplified Planner does. I will show you that one really quickly. So this is the daily page in the daily edition. Um, for all of these pages, you can visit emilylay.com, click on uh, free printable library down at the bottom, or printables actually might be at the top, and you can download and print out the daily pages, weekly pages, and you can try them. So, and there's also like a monthly calendar in there. You can just try it before you buy it to see which edition is going to work best for you. Okay, so I just realized the comments do not like scroll on my screen, so I actually am not seeing any of your questions at all while I'm talking. So if I'm not answering your question, I'm not ignoring you, I promise you I'll answer it at the very end. We are also going to be doing an Instagram Live today at um, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and that is just a more casual me wherever I am, probably in car line on my phone. Um, answering any questions you have because inevitably with these launches we have new friends and new followers and there are like 9,000 questions and I'm happy to answer every single one. You can also click any of the links in the caption here um, to go and take a quiz to see which Simplified Planner is best for you. You can view all of the details of the planner, see all the covers up close, the interior pages, um, and check out all the accessories as well. 
Last thing about launch day, we will have a bundle on launch day. You'll be able to choose a daily planner or a weekly planner, and you can choose all the accessories that go along with it. Um, everything from stickers, paper clips, pens, um, they're all like little categories you get to choose in your bundle. Um, and then with the bundles, you'll end up with free U.S. ground shipping. So on launch day, any order over $100 is going to get free U.S. ground shipping. Um, okay, who's ready to talk about color coding? I would also love, I think this particular Facebook Live is going to be really fun for us to share ideas. I would love to know if you have any planner hacks. Like anything that you do in your simplified planner that you think is unique and fun and um, something that you'd like to share with other people, please feel free to leave it here. And um, I will kind of scroll through and try to keep an eye on the comments and I can share them as well. Okie dokie. I love that you guys are sharing which one, which covers you're going to be after. Um, I would also like to start this off by saying, remember, we are a team simplified over here. So what we're going to talk about today is not how to like decorate and deck out your planner. Lots of people do it. I see it on Instagram all day long. I'm so inspired by it. I think it's amazing. I think if that's how you plan and you like to literally like scrapbook your planner out with stickers and all the things like you do you, as long as you have a system that works to help you plan and organize, go for it. I, on the other hand, um, don't necessarily plan that way. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's kind of a very simple way of doing it because I tend to lean that direction. Um, and you can kind of take ideas from what I do, but also search the hashtag simplified planner and you will see tons of different ways other people are using their pages and their accessories and all kinds of things over um, on Instagram. And I promise you, it's literally like a black hole. When you, when you go down that rabbit hole of the hashtag, there are like so many cool ways people are using their pages. It's super fun. Oh, last thing. I promise we're going to talk about color coding in a minute. Go and enter to win our launch day survival kit. Um, every year, I make a survival kit for our team. We have a team of eight women. We're all remote, all over the country. Um, I make them a launch day survival kit full of some of our favorite products just to like paper them and love on them because we've been working up to launch day for like 18 months. Um, we work crazy far in advance, like so far in advance that next year's covers are done. Like that's how far in advance we work. Um, but I make it for them just to love on them and um, give them a little treat to like and really enjoy launch day and relax and paper themselves and all that. Um, our launch day survival kit this year is really good. And if you click the link in the caption, you can go to the page to enter to win it. Last thing, we are going to be choosing a winner today from the comments. So please um, comment. Just tell us hi, ask a question, whatever. Um, I am going to choose a random comment um, at the end of this, and we're going to send you just a goodie bag from our shop full of accessories. So we're going to send you stickers and some pens and just some fun stuff, some of our favorite accessories that we use for accessorizing and color coding in our own planners. Okay, now that the housekeeping is done, um, we are going to talk about a couple of tricks. So I have actually made some mocked up pages to show you a couple of different ways to color code. First rule in color coding and accessorizing your planner, find a system that works for you. You may have 17 colors that you want to use for each of your kids and responsibilities and commitments. And if that's how you want to do it with color coded pins, then you do you. Um, if you like to use stickers, that's a great system too. I think the trick here is to find a system that works for you in your planner and stick with it. And don't let me forget, I will talk about my hybrid system of using iCal and the Simplify Planner um, a little bit later, because I think that's a question I get often, like how do I do it? And it's really quite simple, but it's a system that is just tried and true, it works for me, it works for my husband, for our family, um, and so I'll talk about that as well. So here is an example of using highlighters. So this is the monthly spread. Ooh, I'm getting confused about which way is which. This is the monthly spread in the daily edition. So you can see I've used, um, this is the black Pilot Precise V5 that comes in our um, Happy Strike Precise V5 set that we sell in our shop. By the way, what a dream to work with Pilot on a pen set. Um, 
you can uh, use whatever pen you like, but I tend to write always in black ink and then color code using stickers or highlighters. So here I've used highlighters as well as some washi tape that uh, is also available in our shop. This is our washi tape set. Um, yes, you can write on the washi tape, but because of the way that it's coated, I wouldn't use a regular pen. I would use like a thin Sharpie or something like that. I don't write on my washi tape. I just kind of write underneath it and then mark out like a vacation day or um, if we're out of town or something like that. So here I've put a little color coding key on the side and you can see I used blue for Brady, uh, green for Tyler, pink for Caroline, purple for work and yellow for family stuff. And I just kind of highlighted it throughout. So these highlighters are the Pilot Friction highlighters. And I don't have any right here, but I love them because they are pastel. They're not neon like some highlighters. Um, I like that they're just kind of simple and subdued a little bit. So they're not like screaming at you when you open the page. Okay, so there's one fun way to do it. This is the monthly spread. You have the same monthly spread in both the daily edition and the weekly edition. Let me show it to you. Obviously, it's bound a little different, so it looks a little bit different. Here it is. You can see I kind of did the same thing here. I also wrote on this side just some overarching to-dos I wanted to get done uh, during the month and like drew in some little checkboxes. And you can see I kind of decorated the stickers a little bit, date night. Um, but nothing, not a lot. So for some people, they love like all the stickers and all the things, and we will make all the stickers you need. <laughs> but me personally, I kind of keep it really simple. And that's partly because that's just the way my brain best operates and also because that's about the amount of time I have. <laughs> so, okay, there is that. Now I'm gonna show you a way to color code with stickers. Oh wait, here's a weekly page. So this is the weekly edition, and you can see um, the weekly has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then um, it has a spot for your schedule, to-do list, and dinner. Now, here's a little planner hack for you. Obviously, in the weekly, our schedule is not mapped out by hour because of space confinement here. In the daily edition, um, hold on, I gotta find it. In the daily, what did I do? I can't find my daily mock-up. Must be a different planner. Um, anyway, in the daily edition, I we have like every single um, hour on the schedule from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And so what I do when I'm writing in dates or appointments over here is write the time, the exact time that you have to do something. So that, let's say it's at like 9.15 or 11.45, you write the exact time. And then I just put two little lines and then write out what I have to do. And I put it in the hour slot closest to whatever I have to do. Um, I gotta find, will you help me find those pages, Taylor? I don't know what planner I put it in. I think I may have taken the page markers out yesterday to show people. Um, Okay, we're going to find those daily pages. They're in a planner, but I have like 10 planners lying around here. So we just got to find out which one it is. Here's these other ones too. Okay, um, so stickers are another good way to do it. You can use color coding stickers to kind of mark off things that are personal and things that are business related. Um, our color coding stickers are literally a bestseller. They come with um, 1,404 stickers in the set. And what I like to do, and this is, this is my set, so it's like totally used up. Um, what I like to do is use like a pink for personal and a blue for work or something like that. And then go down your to-do list and just put the stickers next to whatever it is you have going on. Um, what else? I want to kind of like scroll through over here and look at what your ideas are. Oh yeah, somebody just said the friction highlighters are erasable. I think that's what the friction means for Pilot, is that if it's a friction pen or a friction um, highlighter, that it is erasable. So I'm a big fan of Pilot, obviously, and, um, and I love it. Okay, let's see. The yes, the highlighters are friction. Um, so that's just a couple of different ways you can color code. I always say you can use pens, you can use stickers, you can use highlighters. Find a system that works for you and go with it. For me, 
Um, when we use iCal and the Simplify Planner at the same time, all of my team is remote. So we have 18 members, they're all over the country. I have to keep every single thing in iCal. Um, I also have like the synced up iCal for my kids' school and I have my shared iCal with my husband. So everything lives there um, and is updated there. And on Sundays, I sit down with my Simplify Planner and write out what I have going on for the week. From that point forward, I'm working out of my Simplified Planner, and if anything changes, I'm changing it in the planner. I'll change it in iCal like somebody needs to know, but otherwise, I'm just working straight out of there. It works for me because I have to keep so much online. Um, and I've had people ask me, like, even you know, without owning this company, why use a paper planner on top of iCal? And that's because I am always on the go, I want something in my hand that's not going to crash or die or not work or, you know, be accessible by other people that they can mess with. Like, I want to have it right there in my hands and know that this is my planner. I want everything in one place. Oh, you're my hero. Taylor found those pages. Oh, I did take the page marker out. I took the page marker out to show something yesterday and it got lost in our all of our things. So here's the little color coding I was talking about. Pink for personal, blue for work. You can write on these over here. Um, you can write on these, and so I just put my check marks right on top. But you can see also where I've written out the times that have to be somewhere and then what it is, okay? And then this note section is actually much more open than it was in the past on these editions. We had a, used to have a line going right here, and we had notes and dinner, but we opened it up so you can use this for whatever you want. Notes, dinner, gratitude, whatever. Here's another page where I've kind of done something similar. I used our label stickers down at the bottom to separate dinner and notes. And then um, again, you can just see kind of how I've done it. And then we have headline space at the top where if it's an anniversary or a birthday, I'll put one of our flag stickers up here and they fit perfectly. Okay, I saw someone ask about stickers being available. Yes, everything, stickers, all that will be available on launch day. We are like, <laughs> we're waiting on them to be put away in the warehouse, but they're going to be back and stock will be totally fine. They'll be available on lunch day. Color coding stickers always tend to sell out fast. So we actually printed a lot this time. Um, they are definitely a fan favorite. Let me just show you in case I know we have a lot of new um, friends on here. So I'm just going to show you these accessories really fast. We have. So stickers and y'all. Don't tell my team I told you this, but we're working on a lot of new stickers for next year, and they're so cute. You may have gotten to see them the other day. Okay, color coding stickers. This comes with 1,404 dots inside. And then we have icon stickers. These all are like, I use these. These are mine, so whatever. That's why they're somewhere empty. Um, these are the doodle stickers. So these are the stickers that come inside your planner, but a lot of times people want extras. And so they're all in here. Then we have flag stickers. These are the first sticker sets we ever made. And I, these have a special place in my heart because they've looked, they've been all different colors over the years, but like now they're perfect happy stripe and they're so pretty. These are the label stickers. Again, I love these for the notes section in the daily, just like putting those labels on there. Um, then we have paper clips and I don't have all the paper clips here. I have four and I'm pretty sure we have six. So I'm missing coffee cups and pineapples, but with coffee cup paper clips, we have pineapple paper clips. They make great page markers. These are the arrows that were new, um, this year. These are super cute. These are the flag paper clips. Also super cute. Star paper clips. And of course, heart paper clips that I'm using. So just deal with it. They're all half used. <laughs> I'm in a temporary office. My old office is in Tampa and we're moving and we're in the middle of everything right now. And so like half my stuff is actually not here. Um, but those paper clips are always a bestseller. They're super cute. They make really good gifts. Um, they're really cute like teacher gifts or just little surprises for people. And they're also really great page markers. Um, I also, here's a little planner hack. I love taking a paper clip and let's say um, what comes to mind for me is like a, one of those cards from Banana Republic where they send you and it's like save $25 off $50 and it expires on a certain day. Take that little card, 
and go clip it on a day, like right before it expires, so you don't forget to use it. Um, or if you have coupons to somewhere or like concert tickets or something like that, use one of these paper clips and just clip it onto the page. And so you have everything like right there. Another planner hack I was just thinking of that I really like, and I know a lot of people you do, and I do this as well, is to take a post-it note and stick it on one of your pages if you have a, an ongoing to-do list. So let's say you have like a birthday party to plan and you have you know ongoing to-dos for that that you're gonna do over the course of a week or two or a month. Um, you take it, put the post-it note on your to-do list and then just kind of move it day to day. I've also been asked before, if I am, if I have a to-do list going for one day and I don't accomplish everything, which is by the way, standard, um, I will take those to-dos and cross them off and move them to the next day. I can't even begin to tell you how life-changing it is to have your to-do li your to-do list in one place, like one specific place. My team also uses Asana as a um, project management system. Um, again, there are eight of us. We're all over the country. We all work weird schedules, like we're kind of all over the place. And so um, we use Asana as a project management system and all of my work to do is live in Asana. And so we, um, I take those on Sundays again and like put them on the days and you do them for the week. So hope that's helpful. Okie dokie. Are paper clips part of the bundle? Yes, they are. I would love, did, are, I know you guys are sharing some ideas over here. Is there anything that I should share that I have missed? Oh, I like this. I have a paper clip on the yearly calendar page where I wrote school calendar dates. Yeah, that's really good. And that's part of setting up your planner too. Like when I sit down to set up my planner, you know, in the beginning, um, I will take my kid's school calendar, um, any important dates I know we have coming up and that kind of thing and go ahead and put them on the calendar, put them in the planner put them on the monthly page and the daily or weekly pages. That way you have it everywhere you need it. And you know, those dates aren't going to change and they're already down. Same thing for birthdays and anniversaries. Um, I love our perpetual calendar free printable. Um, it's in our free printable library, print that out and put on any birthdays or anniversaries or big days that don't change. Keep it in the front pocket of your planner. Um, this is the weekly right now. I have our stickers in here, but, fold it in half and put it right here. And that way you have it as you move from planner to planner and you can always keep those dates top of mind. <laughs> Lined post-its are game changers. I completely agree. Um, okay, I'm gonna try and scroll all the way down. Okay, all right. Last thing I want to talk about was um, a little bit about work-life balance. So. I think when we color code or we try all these different systems or we invest in a planner in the first place, what is it that we're all after, right? If we're all after something, we're not buying a planner just to put it on our shelf and let it look pretty. I personally love opening up a brand new Simplify planner and sitting down and thinking intentionally about what the next 12 months are going to look like. Um, that's why we started including prep work in the front of our planners. And I've always, I don't say this to all blue in the face, but the day we become a planner company is the day I don't want to do this anymore. Um, we do this because we believe in the potential of fresh starts, right? And I love, um, there's this quote, and I'm going to butcher it, but I think it's by F, F. Scott Fitzgerald. And he says something like, how beautiful is it that we have the freedom and the choice to start over. Like we get to say, I'm going to make a change. And if we want our lives to change or to be more balanced or to be happier or to be more successful or to be quieter or whatever it is, you don't get that kind of change without actually physically deciding to make a change. And so we started including the prep work in the beginning of our Simplify Planners. I actually have some here I can show you. It's in both the daily and the weekly Simplify Planner. This is not in Dapper Desk. Um, we have space in the very beginning. It's just four pages. It's very simple. It's very easy to complete, but it's worth sitting down and thinking through before you put any dates in your calendar, in your planner. Um, sitting down and thinking through like, okay, what worked last year? Like tactically, what worked? And I love talking about this stuff tactically. Like, we can all talk about inspiration forever and ever, but like, tell me how to do it, right? That's why I wrote A Simplified Life. My last book is like, 
tell me how to simplify complicated things, not just inspire me, but like, tell me how to do it. <laughs> um, and so that's what this is. What worked last year for me? I, these are my actual answers. Um, getting up an hour before the kids and Brian to like get myself ready in the mornings so that like really worked teaching my kids how to use a shoe basket. Like we have one, we have three baskets in the front of our house. Even in our little rental house here, we have like a navy blue basket for Brady, a light blue for Tyler and a pink for Caroline. And they know when they come home, to put their shoes in the shoe basket. And it just helps keep them off the floor. It's one less thing I have to do. And it teaches them a little bit of responsibility, right? That stuff worked. Friday pizza nights. Tonight's pizza night. Um, what didn't work? Hurried morning routines for my kids. Do not work like at all. We had one this morning, like hurried morning routines do not work. So figuring out a way to like alleviate that, not having me time is not good for anybody. Um, and then this is last year, but too much travel. Like I've been in places in my career where I've traveled a lot and had to make significant changes to alleviate that. So like, what are some things that worked and didn't work? And then ideas for new routines, looking over this and saying, okay, wake Brady up before the twins to have some quiet time with just him. Um, scheduling time for workouts twice a week. I still have not done that. I need to get back on the wagon. Um, and ideas for new healthy habits, like taking a water bottle with me during the day to fill up, um, carving out a few hours a week for actually running errands that just stress me out all week long. And then in the next two prep work pages, we have um, weekly routines. Yes, I do laundry every single day. Do a little load of laundry right when you wake up every single morning, wash, dry, fold, put away, put it away in the afternoon if you have to, but like doing this every day will legit change your life. And I know you guys have tried it. So high five me here. Okay. And then morning routines and evening routines. We're going to talk a lot about routines later, but I just wanted to say the prep work before your simplified planner is so important. I think it's so important to sit down and to set some intentions for the year and say like, this is the year I want to have. And remember, we have a whole nother Facebook live for this topic too, but remember if you are looking at your life and you're thinking it feels so messy, it feels so overwhelming. It feels like I'm so frazzled and like there's just so many moving pieces. A planner will not change your life. Buying a simplified planner or any planner and thinking that you can organize all of that into little boxes and color code it and put stickers on it and make it beautiful or easier, it won't work. I only know this because I tried it. Um, you have to address the life stuff first. So sit down and think, what am I overcommitted to? Um, I tend to get a big piece of poster board. My husband, when he sees the poster board comes out, he's like, we're there, we're there. Um, I get the poster board and the Sharpie and I write down like, here's all the things I'm committed to. Here's all the things I'm doing, like doing volunteer work at the school, at church, or with my family, with work, with like just all the things I have going on, write them all down. And then what can you cross off? You know, certain things you can't cross off. Certain things you can. You can say maybe not now, right? I always give this analogy. And if you've been following this for long, you're going to be like, I've heard this before, but it's true. Imagine you have a closet and you have a ton of shoes. Okay. And you go into the closet and you're like, I have 17 pairs of flip-flops and I need a beautiful organizer to organize them because I just need them. I need this to be easier. I need choosing them to be easier. I need displaying them to be easier and all of this. And so you go out and you buy this really fancy organizer and you put your 17 pairs of flip-flops all over it in the cute little compartments and make it look all nice and pretty. And the next day, what does it look like? It's a disaster, right? Why? Because you own 17 pairs of flip-flops. <laughs> it's not because you didn't have the right organizer. It's because you have 17 pairs of flip-flops. And sometimes there are seasons of life where you, you need 17 pairs of flip-flops, you know, or you, life is just a little bit big and that's fine. Um, but if you have the opportunity and the freedom to say like, what can I quit? what can we quit? Is there stuff we could say not now to? I've been in seasons of life where I've had to say like, I'm sorry, I can't do that right now. And that could be something good and worthy. It's something you can make money at, something that you could, you know, be successful with. Um, I've turned down big opportunities because my kids are little, you know? Um, so maybe think about that before choosing your system with your planner, um, before sitting down and putting any dates in your planner, Think about your shoes. 
Do you have 17 pairs of flip flops? Are there ways that we could help that? And I'm going to plug my book now shamelessly because it really is such a tactical, um, it's such a tactical piece. This is, it's a simplified life. You can get it anywhere, Target, Amazon. Um, but it's, it's got 10 areas of life that are overwhelming and like actual tactical, very basic tactical ways to alleviate it. Um, and I wrote, I wrote it and I make planners not because I'm the planning expert or because I'm Martha Stewart, but because I know what it feels like to be completely and totally overwhelmed. Um, I know it, I know it often. I mean, I know, I know it today. <laughs> um, I know what it feels like to be at your wit's end. I know what it feels like to cry in my bed because I feel like I'm not giving my best to anybody. Um, and no color coding system or stickers or planner is going to fix that, but addressing your life and stepping back and saying like, I'm going to like make a legit change. I have the freedom to do this. I am hereby giving you permission to sit down and think through that question. Are there ways you could make your life simpler? And once you do it, I hope you'll use the simplified planner to manage it. <laughs> okay. Um, do you guys have questions? I know you do. I've seen them, uh, a couple of them, but I have to like scroll to see all of your comments. So, um, Dusty, oh, hold on, I have text. Dusty, whenever you're ready, I will take, I will take questions. I am happy to answer any planner questions, any launch day questions, any, any kind of anything. Um, just before I get to these, let me just say, remember on launch day, it's super exciting and we treat it like it's Christmas day. Um, but please be sure that when you check out, you make sure and you spell everything correctly, you get your address right and all that, because there, we are not able, we wish we could, but we are hundred percent not able to make changes to orders after they're placed. Um, our warehouse is amazing and they're on like super high alert and ready to start receiving orders. Like the very minute we go live and start processing them, um, shipping times are, we pad them a little, like, please have lots of grace with us during launch week because our warehouse will be shipping a high volume of orders higher than usual. Um, okay, here we go. Thank you, Dusty. Dusty's awesome. She always sends me, I need to put my case back on my phone before I break it. Uh, okay. Well, we have lots of questions. Okay. Can a bundle be purchased without another planner because I'm using academic? Good question. We've gotten that question a lot lately. And the answer is unfortunately, no, the, the way the bundles are arranged is it is, um, you choose your planner and then you choose your accessories. Um, and then you save a little bit by bundling them all together, but it has to come with the planner. Um, an accessories bundle is not a bad idea, and I will definitely take note, though. Thank you for sharing that. Um, when is launch in the spring? So I'm happy to share these dates because we just finalized them. We are moving our spring launch up a little bit next year. Um, we, we know a lot of you like to purchase planners for Mother's Day, and so we're trying to, like, move it out of May to help with that. Um, our cover reveal is March 27th. Yes, the covers are done. And they're amazing. Um, and spring launch is April 3rd. And this is for 2018, I'm sorry, 2019, 20, holy moly, editions. And those will begin in August of next year and run through the following July. Um, and then we also have some other fun stuff we're launching. But And the teacher planner launches May 1st. Okay, how do you record overlapping events on your daily planner? Um, I don't know. I don't have overlapping events really. I, so I try to segment my weeks out. Um, I guess I've never really talked about this before, but I try to segment my, my weeks out and I like caveat, I own my own company. And so I have a lot of flexibility, um, with my schedule, but like Fridays are my days to like get stuff done, like run errands. If I have to make like a hair appointment or something, when my kids are at school, I'll do it on a Friday. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I try to, well, Mondays and Wednesdays are my like calls and meetings days. I try to get all of my calls on those days. Um, I have like four or five weekly calls with different partners of ours, manufacturers and whatnot. And then um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I try to leave open for like the creative fun stuff, right? Um, are the weekends listed like the weekdays with the time frame breakdowns? Good question. I will show you. So in the, the weekly edition, the weekends are 
like this. Saturday and Sunday, I'm gonna go like this, here we go. Saturday and Sunday share this little spot at the bottom and um, Sunday has Sunday prep on it. Um, and then on the daily, the weekends, so this is like Friday here and then Saturday and Sunday over here. So Saturday, Sunday, and they are not broken out because you don't get as many lines. Um, we have these two pages share a page, these two days share a page because if we gave every Saturday and every Sunday its own page, your planner would be super heavy. And um, it also, this is funny. So bear with me, this is technical, but this is how my brain works. It would also mess this up. So every Monday is on the left hand side. Every Tuesday is on the right hand side. Um, if it gave every day its own page, it would be an odd number and it would throw that off. So consistency and that's why we do it. Okay. Next, um, I can't wait to understand how to color code without it being messy. How, uh, how granular should you go if you are a no kids household, work personal and together events for the husband and I? I, I'm always one to say, like, keep it as simple as possible. Um, if you are after simplicity, keep your planner simple. Like, use black ink, you know, maybe use a highlighter to color code if you want to do that, or use the color coding stickers. Just use two or three different colors. Don't go crazy. Um, or just use different colored pens. Or don't color code. You don't have to color code. You know, just because a system works for someone else doesn't mean you have to do it for your own family. So you just find what works for you. Do the pens smear with highlighters? Not in my experience, but I also uh, kind of just make sure it's dry, like tap it and look at your finger and make sure that the ink is dry. Um, so you basically just use washi tape to accentuate important events or dates you'll be away from home. Yes, I use washi tape on the monthly spread just to call out like multi-day events, right? So like dates you're out of town or dates you have a big project or like launch week or things like that. Can we purchase the Happy Stripe pin pouch we've seen on your last slide? Yes, that is available from May Designs. Our friends at May Designs are amazing and we work with them on a bunch of fun stuff. Um, and you can buy a bunch of fun products over there with our cover patterns on them. It's maydesigns.com. How do you use the different color pins in the Emily Lay set? So I use those pins not in my planner, believe it or not. I use the black one in my planner. Um, but the other pens I use for like writing lunchbox notes to my kids or whatever. Um, the, I just, uh, my favorite is the black one out of there. Um, what do you use in the daily or the weekly? I use the daily edition. Um, I have used the weekly in the past, but my, I have so many like daily events, like meetings and places to go and soccer practice and whatnot. I need that schedule. And if I don't fill up a page or like forget to use a page or whatever, um, I'll just use it for notes because it's lined and you can just kind of write all over it. Okay. It is raining in here. Do you do your planning in the morning or at night, the night before, or do you do it at the beginning of the week? I do mine at the beginning of the week. And then I also in the morning, like as soon as I sit down at my desk, we'll kind of take inventory of the day. What do I have going on? I'll kind of look over at iCal, just make sure nothing has changed on anybody else's schedule or whatever. Um, and then go from there. I don't really do it at night. <laughs> I hit a wall at night where I'm like, I'm done working and planning and thinking, and I'm going to watch Netflix now. Okay. Do your restock stickers. Yes. Stickers will be back in stock for launch day. Color coding back in stock for launch day. Yes. Is there a ribbon page mark? Oh, is, is there a ribbon page marker in the daily like the weekly? No. The weekly edition has a ribbon page marker. It's a different color in every single one. And the daily does not have that. Does the Simplified Planner have pockets? Yes. The weekly has it and the daily. So this is the weekly and the daily basically looks just like that. Oh, memory box restock. So sad face, no. Our memory boxes are beautiful and we loved them. Our magazine boxes too. Um, I've decorated my whole office back in Tampa with them, but we are looking for a new production option for those because they are so pricey to make. We would have to raise prices on them and I think they're already enough. Um, and so we're, we're researching production for those, but thanks for asking. Those Navy stripe boxes have a special place in my heart. What's in the bundle? And of course, Dusty texts me what's in the bundle because she knows I can't remember. Thank you. The bundle, you get to choose your simplified planner, choose your mini notebook, 
And yes, the new mini notebooks are included. So these are our, I can only grab a couple with one hand, but the planner patterns on mini notebooks, these are lined inside. Um, these are, these will go with your planner. And if you were like having trouble choosing a cover, choose your favorite and then get the other one in the mini notebook, right? Win, win. Okay, sticker pack, you can choose your sticker pack, choose your paper clip set, choose your page marker, choose your stretchy band, choose your pen. These are stretchy bands. Oh dear, go there. Oh, sorry, falling planners. Stretchy bands go around your planner to keep them closed. When you are checking out, make sure you get either the daily or the weekly because as you can see, they are different sizes. Okay, the daily bundle is $115. The weekly bundle is 105. And the, um, once you spend over $100 on anything, you get free US ground shipping. Okay, sticker book is not included as an option. The pin set is included as an option for the pins. Okay, when you are feeling you are out of a routine, like working out, cleaning, et cetera, just due to life, how do you get back into it? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Um, so real talk, we are um, renting a, a house. It's a two bedroom house right now because we're building our forever home and we had to move here for our kids to short school. Our home wasn't ready yet. It's gonna be amazing. Um, we're in this beautiful beach condo. We're so grateful for it. Um, it has two bedrooms. And so three kids, uh, twins are three, Brady seven in one bedroom. Um, we also have two rental cars because both of our cars decided to break last week. Um, so I'm feeling very untethered at the moment. Um, I'm actually really super grateful for this office because it's just a nice place to go during the day. And um, we're very grateful for everything. But I know the feeling of feeling like you're a little frazzled. And I feel like that right now. And I actually had a conversation with Brian last night to talk about like, got to get on track to where we feel like we have some routine. So um, we are just going to try to hunker down a little bit the next couple of days and like get, you know, some things put away at the house and spend some like downtime with our kids. Whenever things start to feel a little bit frazzled, I either bust out the poster board if I don't know what the problem is. Um, but right now I know what it is. We're just in transition. Um, and so my go-to is to kind of hunker down. Um, I read a really amazing book called Simplicity Parenting and it talks about kids having what's called soul fires, just like adults do, where when things get a little overstimulated, a little bit much, kids just can kind of start acting out. Um, and that's their way of expressing their feeling not in a routine or not comfort comforted by those kinds of things. We're going to do a whole Facebook live on rhythms and routines. And I could talk for literally three hours about how important I think they are just in creating a home and making people feel included and safe and whatever grounded. Um, but about the soul fires, I really believe that when you have one of those going on personally or with a child, it's super important to just hunger down, like bust out the blankets, order pizza, watch a movie. Don't try to reinvent the wheel, just like take care of yourself a little bit. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, we've got another, at least another month in this transition. And my goal right now is just to like really love on my people well and, um, and just kind of love us through it, you know? It's an experience and my kids are learning to share a room and they're having fun building forts and summer parties and all that stuff. So there's definitely a lot of silver lining. Okay. I digress. Seriously. I can talk about that forever. Um, when do you start the prep work for your year, December or as soon as you get your planner uh, for when I get my planner is when I sit down and kind of talk through those things and think through those things and, and work all that out. Can you show the blue tile daily up close? Yes. This is the blue tile daily. Yay. Um, I will tell you, this is coming back next year, not in this colorway. It will be different colors, but this pattern is coming back. Sorry, guys, I'm telling all the secrets. You hear my team now. Okay. Uh, what is Sunday prep? Well, I'm glad you asked. Sunday prep is a key part of the Simplify Planner. Um, Sunday prep is a part of my life, something I learned from my mom. And it is taking just a little bit of time on Sunday to prepare for the week ahead and really set the week up to run smoothly. And so that includes doing things like, I'll read it to you so I don't 
get it all wrong. But that includes doing things like planning meals for the week ahead, tidying up, just kind of picking up for a clean site on Monday, writing tasks and appointments for the week, like write it all down. Um, and then fill your tank, like actually rest, take care of yourself, enjoy what matters most. Um, I really believe in Sunday prep and we have many Facebook lives that we've done, lots of videos in our video library about what Sunday prep is um, and about how it can really, really and truly like make a big difference in your week. So setting yourself up for success by getting those things kind of buttoned up and ready to go for the week ahead. No, you're not going to do it perfectly. No, I don't do it perfectly. No, we start Mondays frazzled just like everybody else does sometimes. But um, having that in our planners, it's in every single simplified planner. Having it there is just a really nice reminder like, okay, today's the day I need to like kind of get it together and get our family back to square one. Um, okay. Whoa. Hold on. I lost where I was. How many covers next year? I can't tell you that. Uh, are the tabs laminated? And yes, they are. So in the daily editions, you can see uh, I flipped one of the tabs over already, but we'll here. As you can see, they are laminated. And then in the weekly edition that I threw on the ground earlier. So the, our weekly editions are what are called step die. This is, these are step die tabs. And that means that the pages are cut like the tabs. This is not how the daily works. We were able to do this in this edition because you can do it with book binding. Um, but you have, you can see how the pages are cut. There you go. And they are laminated. Um, no, Dapper Desk is not part of the bundle. And do the coaching emails come with this launch too? Yes. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, as I said, we want to be more than just a planner company. We, uh, we want to connect with our customers and like really help you through this whole process of simplifying. And so we do Facebook lives all the time. Um, we have a simplified community group here on Facebook with like 25,000 people that, um, are amazing and share ideas and encouragement. I really encourage you to go and, and join. Um, but the coaching emails are something that if you purchase a simplified planner from our shop, and um, I don't think this includes Dapper Desk, this is just a simplified planner, you will receive coaching in your inbox um, once a month for the life of your simplified planner for the next year. And every single email is gonna come with a video from me coaching you through things like meal planning and tackling clutter in your home, um, all sorts of things, all sorts of different types of things that kind of all go along with this idea of li living a simplified life. Um, the coaching emails also include some freebies and printables and a coupon code or two. So um, those will start showing up about four weeks after you purchase your first simplified planner and they will last for the entire year that you're using it. Um, if for some reason, this question always happens, if for some reason you've purchased a planner this year and you're not receiving that, email us, uh, hello at emilylay.com and we'll help you out. Sometimes the spam filter likes to eat our coaching emails. Okay, if you only had one, if you had to only purchase one accessory, what would it be? That's hard. Um, the pens, I would say the pens. They're just so fun. And there's so many fun colors, but I would also say the color coding dots because I use those a lot. So I'm kind of two. I would say the color coding dots too, because those they're just so simple and they're so easy to use. And they're just provide such a nice visual. Like if you're looking at something quickly and you're like, what do I have going on today? That's just super, 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 super nice. All right. Did I get all of your questions? Um, I think I did. Oh, I saw someone talk about color coding our phones. Yes, I wrote a blog post recently about organizing your phone and kind of simplifying your phone because my husband's phone was a disaster. Um, and he was a good sport and let me at it and let me organize it. And I color coded, well, I did not color code his apps. I color code my apps on my phone. Here, I'll show you my phone. Um, but he did not let me color code his apps. So we sorted them by um, category, but these are mine. And it just makes your life easier. Just saying, go check out our blog, scroll back a couple posts, and you can see all my tips on how to organize your phone and, and make it simplified. Okay, that's it. Guys, this was fun. I will be on Instagram Live today at 2 p.m. Eastern time answering any questions you have. 
about planners, about launch day, about organizing, about whatever. I'll be on there until I have to go pick kids up in Carline. All right. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget to mark your planners. Um, September 5th, 10 a.m. Eastern time. Oh, wait. Make sure you are on our email list because, and the link to sign up for that is in the caption here, because every day this week we are sending out free freebies and we're also um, sending the link to this Facebook Live in case you missed any of it. Um, this is the printable that's coming out today. Sorry, this camera is kind of weird, but this is a color coding key. It's just kind of fun. If you want like a place to write out your color coding, put the color, put what it is over here, fold it up, put it in the pocket of your planner. Um, it's just something a little fun. So it'll be in your inbox later this afternoon. All right. Thank you guys. Oh, Dusty just said, mention the launch day survival kit giveaway. Yes. Click the link in the caption here to go and enter to win our launch day survival kit. We're giving, I gave one to all of our team members and we're giving one to one of you. And it includes the cutest Lily Pulitzer popover with a gold pineapple on the back. Um, it's all a size medium. It includes one of our team simplified launch day shirts that say grace, not perfection on the front and team simplified on the back. <laughs> Um, we're also giving you a thin happy stripe daily planner and a whole bunch of other fun things. So go and enter to win Oh, in today's giveaway. I forgot. See, okay. I am going to randomly pick a person. If someone on my team will tag this person in case they hopped off already, cause I was totally going to end this, um, and just let them know that they won. I'm going to choose somebody. Let me load all the comments. Okay. Put your... Put a comment in if you want to enter and I'm going to like scroll. Okay. This is a very like formal way of doing this. Oh dear. Hold on. Okay. It stopped scrolling on me. Vicki Hutchinson's. Oh, Vic, Vicki Hutchins something. It scrolled. Hold on. It went away. Vicki, you're our winner. I lost your name because it started scrolling because people were typing. Let's see if I can find it. Vicki, if you are on here, you are a winner. Oh, there you are. Yes, you're a winner. Send us a note to taylor at emilylay.com. Um, send us your mailing address and mention that you won the accessories bundle that we're going to give away today. Not the bundle, accessories goodie bag. Um, and we'll get it out to you right away. All right. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you later.